Hey guys, so today is Tuesday, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the new Xbox One X, and what I think about it, if you should get it, or if I'm going to get it. So, E3 is going on, which I'll be covering tomorrow, I'm going to talk about all the conferences and whatnot, because they just finished, I actually just finished watching Nintendos. And they mentioned at the Xbox One, at Microsoft's conference, that they have a new console called the Xbox One X, that's what Project Scorpio was. That's what they've been working on. Um, now, I have mixed feelings about it. It looks really, really, really good. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I, I love it. It looks like a great console. The name, really stupid. Xbox One X, stupid name. They probably, like, I mean, you, you've seen everybody's gamer tag, so it's like XXX blank XXX. Like, they might as well have just done that. It's really stupid to me. But that being said, it's a lot more powerful than the rest of them. And I know you're going to see me glancing down because I don't have all these stats memorized. But it has a uh, AMD Jaguar 8-core processor. It's got an integrated AMD 6 teraflop GPU. A 12 gigabyte DDR5 memory. 1 terabyte storage. But the main thing, even if you're looking at all these stats, I mean, at least in my opinion, is that it runs 4K. Game's going to be in 4K. They were showing a bunch of 4K games at the stadium. All they seemed to talk about was 4K the whole conference. That, that was their main focus. That, hey, we have 4K gaming now. So if you don't have a 4K TV, I feel like there's no reason for you to get this console. Like, it's not anything special unless you have 4K. Because you don't really need the higher processing because there's nothing to display it with. So, that being said, if you do have a 4K TV, this might be worth the upgrade, which I do. I actually have a 4K TV, a 4K receiver to run my uh, sound system, but I do not have any 4K consoles, any 4K anything. So I have the ability to use 4K, but nothing that runs 4K. Um, so it's a bit annoying, so I'm actually probably going to get this console. I, I've been thinking about it, it's a good chance I'm going to go out and get this when it drops uh, in November. I believe November 17th is the release date. So. In my opinion, is it worth it? Yes, if you have a 4K TV. If you don't have a 4K setup, do not. It's not worth the money. It's a waste of time for you. Um, now, that being said, go get a 4K TV. They look beautiful. Like I said, I don't have anything that runs 4K except for videos off of my laptop that I hook up with an HDMI cable. So I've watched movies in 4K and everything. It's great. Highly recommend it. Um, I actually got mine last year, back in November. Um, I got it during Black Friday. It was on sale and everything. And I'm sure they'll be on sale this year, Black Friday. So if you are thinking about getting the console in November, Black Friday comes right after when it drops. You can go ahead and get yourself a 4K TV, get a 4K setup going. But that being said, guys, that's all for this video. That's my opinion on the Xbox One and if you should get it. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want to see me talk about other stuff, more uh, gaming stuff and everything. Just mention what you want to see me do. And uh, like this video and subscribe for more stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Click the video on the top for the next video. Click the video on the bottom for the previous video. Click the video in the middle for the video that YouTube thinks is best for you. And click the circular channel icon to subscribe.